Chiefs are uh, traveling to Cincinnati. Uh, they are a two-point favorite at Cincinnati. I believe it's the uh, highest uh, over-under of the weekend, uh, Cincinnati and Kansas City. Uh, so they expect a high-scoring affair, um, yeah. which, I mean, I think that bodes well for us. Um, or depending on how you look at it, you think it bodes well for Cincinnati. But, um, J.D., who do you have uh, in this game on uh, Sunday? Uh, so, obviously, I got the Chiefs. Uh, I just I believe what we're going to do uh, as far as going out there on the field is we're going to finish the game up. You're going to be focused up and going in and uh, and handle business. And so right now, my thought process, high scoring game, I think it's going to be 35 to 24. That's where I'm going to be at. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I, I just I think our defense is going to hold up. They've been doing excellent all year. Uh, they're getting all the firepower back and they're going to need it. They're going to need it to try to stay in the game with the Chiefs. But in their in their in their house, 35 24. I think they're gonna put on the show offensively and defensively. Um so I just checked it. So the, the, the spread's actually gone down. We are now a minus one and a half. We are a one and a half point favorite against the uh the Bengals now. So it's gone down from two to one and a half. Um uh, the total points for that game is fifty three points. So they so you have it at fifty nine. So you got a, a yeah. little bit over. Um, yes. that one. Yeah, that's that's the highest total for the weekend by by, interesting. That's the highest point total for the weekend. Uh, the closest one is uh, 51 and a half. That's uh, Detroit and Jacksonville. They think that's going to be a high scoring affair. 51 and a half points for that game. Really? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but those two games will be the offensive, uh, offensive explosions. I will say this is a game that should have been uh, a flex game. I don't know why they didn't flex it to a Sunday night game. Cincinnati, I, I know we've had a lot of games that are, you know, could be prime time games, but this is definitely one of it. It's a rematch of the Asian Championship game last year. I don't know, I don't know how this wasn't uh, a, a prime time game. Yeah, shoot. What time is the game supposed to be? Uh, it's four oh four twenty five. Okay. All right. Well, it's the it's the uh, it's the main uh, uh, Tony Romo Jim Nance game on uh, yeah yeah CBS. So I mean you you I mean you have that I mean it's that element of it though but yeah. yeah. Yeah, I believe the, I, I I saw a map earlier. Every every pretty much every market is getting that game, besides the uh, on the West Coast. Uh, they get the they get Raiders and Chargers for the for the four twenty five slot for that CBS. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. Oh man, that's terrible. Uh, you know, obviously, yeah, Raiders fans obviously are gonna be happy about that. But yeah, the whole rest of America gets the uh, the the real show at the four twenty five. But oh yeah. <laughs> but all right, so. So JD has us uh 35 24 and I'll probably go with that. I, th- I think it's I, I think it'll be I think we cover the spread. Um 35 31. Yeah, I think a little bit closer. They maybe get a, a touchdown at the end. It doesn't matter much. And then we just sit on the ball. Um and uh yeah, you I uh, think uh Pacheco has one of 20 carries again. There's gonna be more uh well bound uh, more or uh 15 type carries game for him. You know what? If, if they, they do the you know spying Patrick. I think you got to run the football. I think you have to. I think you, it's one of those things you have to make sure you got to establish a run against this team. Matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, I'm just going back from memory. I think we had a pretty good out and I guess running the football. And then we we stopped. Then we, yeah. and it was like, wait, wait a minute, hold on. What are we doing? We Stop running the football. And yeah. it was just like, you know, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. And we kept deciding to pass it. And that's what happened. We didn't score down on the, the, the goal line, which we should have probably did. And we didn't. So, yeah, because I, I remember you. I, I I remember that. I remember this because you and I were texting about uh, the uh, the game at that point. Um, yeah, McKinnon twelve carries, sixty five yards, five and a half yards of carry. Uh, Ceh six carries, thirty six yards, six yards of carry. Um, so yeah, we we working we working a lot. Getting some work, man. Getting some work. So now yeah. now we got that. Uh, you know. A hard hat in the backfield, man, running the football. So yeah, yeah, uh, that bat, that battering ram. So yeah, that'll be uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I think I think we win this one, and I, I hope everyone enjoy enjoys the uh, the game. Everyone can. Uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of crap talking from the fans on uh, on Twitter after the game, regard win or loss. I've even seen some Bengals fans starting to comment on our YouTube videos about uh, you know stuff from like weeks ago that had nothing to do with the Bengals. <laughs> so uh, this is gonna be an interesting one this weekend. Um, oh yeah, now nah, ready for it, man. You ready? Yeah. Revenge time. Revenge time. Hi everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. 
And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get podcasts.